Hey class, uh, name is Callum Long. Um, gonna talk a little bit about my upli up religious upbringing. I um, was born into a Roman Catholic religious family, Irish Roman Catholic. Uh, baptized, obviously, when I was, you know, really young. And uh, <clears throat> loved as a young person going to church. Um, I went to a Catholic grade school from kindergarten to eighth grade. And I uh, always enjoyed school, always enjoyed uh, the religion classes and stuff like that. I mean, in the beginning, it was just stories about, you know, Jesus's life and all these different things about what the Catholic Church teaches. And, um, you know, always enjoyed going to church. Uh, I was never forced to, but it was something that was expected. Um, I... Uh, you know, had to dress up, look nice, this kind of thing, be presentable, behave when I was there, this and that, and like, you know, it was always something that I enjoyed, taught me discipline, and, uh, you know, taught me a bunch of other things as a young person, just how to, you know, know what morals are at a young age, and know what's right and wrong, learn what's right and wrong, and, you know, when I would pray, I'd pray to our Father, I didn't really have a connection with God, it was just something that, you know, going to church helped me be a good kid, I guess you can say. You know, going into high school, I had a choice. Um, you, well, you know, I went through communion and all that kind of stuff, you know, the expected things as a Catholic. And uh, going into high school, I had a choice. Either I was going to go to Lake Zurich High School or I was going to go to Carmel. And uh, I chose to go to Carmel Catholic High School. And, um, you know, when I was there, I definitely learned a lot more about my faith. Um, learned how to have a connection with God. I learned how to to pray to him, to talk to him, not just, uh, you know, say there are fathers, say the Hail Mary, say the, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, I learned what the Beatitudes were. I learned all these different things and really, you know, became knowledgeable about my faith, about my, uh, the religion, you know, Catholicism. And, um, you know, never really struggled when it came to my faith, never really questioned it. And it was uh, something that I just definitely was comfortable with. I had something I could go to when I needed help. Um, you know, going into uh, my junior year, I was confirmed my sophomore year, um, and going into my junior year of high school, uh, I joined the peer ministry group at the parish that I belonged to, St. Francis of Sales, where I went to grade school. That's the parish me and my family went to. And um, I went on many retreats, uh, not many, like three or four. And uh, when I was there, that's where I really became really strong with my faith. Learned a lot about myself. Learned a lot about, um, you know, how others go about professing their faith. Just learned, just learned how to really have a connection with God, to have that spirituality, um, and turn to Him for everything. I mean, anything I was going through, I turned to God for it, and uh, always helped me. Always helped me. Going into my senior year, um, for Carmel, we go, we do a retreat called Kairos. It's called God's Time. And if I could describe it in a couple words, all it is is it's a room filled of guys crying. That's really what it was. It was just so emotional, so inspirational. Hearing the stories what lots of guys went through this and that. And uh, still staying strong with their faith. Or some struggling with their faith, which that too was completely okay. Um... And, uh, you know, it was just something that, that, that I really, really found myself becoming closer with God from that retreat, especially. Um, just really fully understood. Not fully understood, but had a better understanding of uh, my relationship with God and my, you know, as I choose to be my, you know, my higher power that I turn to. Um, then going into college, um, things changed. Things changed a lot. Um, I started drinking. I started uh, doing drugs and stuff, and uh, my moral compass started to get thrown off. Stopped going to church. Stopped uh, praying, and uh, really found myself starting to become lost. Um, things got pretty bad, and uh, I was definitely not in a good place. I mean, stopped going to class. Just stopped doing this. Stopped doing that, and. Uh, you know, all these bad things started to happen, and uh, I couldn't understand why. I just could not understand why. And, um, you know, as time went on, uh, I realized that, you know, 
I needed help. I didn't turn to God for help. Um, instead, I came home, left Iowa State, um, which is where I was at, and uh, started going to CLC and thought things would get better. They didn't. <laughs> Just kept getting worse. Um, found myself continuing to make bad choices, continuing to do the wrong things, not living by the morals that I was brought up to learn um, through my Catholic faith. And uh, I was lost. I mean, I was just purely, utterly lost with who I was as a person and uh, didn't know what to do. And I uh, found myself in March of 2012 getting arrested due to my drinking and due to my drug abuse. And um, I, that's when I realized that I had a problem and I really needed help. And I started going to a recovery program and it helped. Um, didn't give me the tools I needed to give me the strength to, to, to really stop. And uh, I found myself going back out about three months later. And during that month, just everything went right back to the way it was. That sadness, that emptiness, that loneliness. And the thing that bothered me the most is when I was, had that loneliness, God wasn't there. When I was lost, God wasn't there. When I was sad, God wasn't there. And, um... I was really lost. I was just completely lost as who I was as a person, and I uh, questioned a lot of things um, during that during that relapse. A bit, you know, and uh, about a month later, into the into my drinking and drug abuse again, um, found myself getting in trouble again with the law. Ran into a police officer again at an abandoned school property. Had stuff on me. Um, my previous charges of already being arrested for drugs, um, I should have, you know, I was looking at going to jail if he arrested me. Something, something happened though, and he saw something in me that I didn't, and, uh, he gave me a little, you know, epiphany, I guess you could say, and he said, you know, either you get sober and you work that recovery program or you're gonna find yourself running into a police officer who isn't gonna give you a chance and uh, you know June 14 2012 I I got sober and uh, I was ready to surrender and I knew I had a problem I needed help and when I came back into my recovery program I quite frankly had to learn quite quickly that my will only led me to bad places my will led me to drink, my will led me to do drugs and if I wasn't willing if I wasn't just to start off willing to turn that will over to something greater than myself I was going to drink and do drugs again and um you know during my whole entire drinking and drug abuse phase um I thought God had abandoned me completely. I thought God 100% had abandoned me. But that's not the case. The fact is that I abandoned him. I stopped praying. I stopped looking for him to him for help. And um, there were plenty of times um, when I was drinking where I found myself in a hospital. I should have died. Somehow I loved. Um, and, uh, you know, that's one thing that reminds me that, you know, God has a purpose for me. I have a purpose. And, uh, you know, I don't consider myself really Catholic anymore. The traditions and everything made me kind of stray away um, from the real message that I am seeking, what I'm seeking. So, I, you know, I'm definitely consider myself Christian. You know, definitely Christian. And, uh, you know, it... it it's the one thing that has helped me. It's the one thing that has saved me from the bad places I was at one point. You know, having God to turn to has given me strength, has given me hope that, you know, everything's going to be okay. And because I know with, with him, I'm everything. You know, with him, I'm everything. With Due to myself and my own devices, I'm going to be in a bad place. And... I don't find that to be weak. I find that to be humble. Um, and, uh, you know, because I could have completely destroyed my life if I didn't 
if I wasn't fully willing to give my will over to something greater than myself, then I had to be willing to do that because, as I said, my will only leads me to bad places. And uh, I can't afford for that to happen again. So that's just a little bit about me and where I'm at now today when it comes to my religious belief. Definitely a believer. And, uh, you know, um, hope you all enjoyed my little bit of my story. And uh, see you in class. Peace.